everybody. Good evening. It's uh, Monday, of course, at uh, 6 30, which means it's about time to do a little yoga. About time to do a little yoga. So, if you're going to join us for tonight's virtual yoga from Kaiser Permanente, welcome, welcome. Uh, my name is Renee, and you know, take a moment to make sure that your space is all set up for a little bit of yoga. You don't necessarily need a mat. You don't necessarily need some kind of fancy background like I have either. You just need a little bit of a little bit of space that's uh, free from anything that you might fall into, yeah, or hurt yourself. Yeah, so you want a little bit of space, a little bit of space around you, uh, so that you can uh, move, move unencumbered. So just uh, set up your space and uh, enjoy. So tonight the Braves are playing. So go Braves. Yeah, go Braves. We hope they win tonight. Um, in the next two weeks, the next two weeks, we will be in person. So if you'd like to join us in person sometime at the Battery, make sure you click on the events section here on the Facebook page and go to the Eventbrite link, and then you can reserve a spot uh, for the next couple of weeks. So make sure you get a reservation in, reserve your spot, and we'd love to see you. We'll be in person uh, for the next two weeks. But for tonight, since the Braves are playing, I welcome you into my home, into my home studio. And so uh, we're going to be doing a little yoga virtually tonight. So my name is Renee and, uh, and let's get going. So we're going to start in a comfortable seated position. So I'm going to back up and take a seat. Any nice cross-legged position will work just fine. But if, but if cross-legged bothers your knees or your ankles, feel free to extend, extend your legs out. I'm going to sit with a nice straight spine, relax your arms, and, and lower your gaze. A few minutes, not a few minutes, I should say more like a few moments, really. A few moments just to create a little space before diving right into the practice. Tonight specifically is a beautiful evening to practice. Why? Because it's the full moon. Full moon is tonight. Now we can't see it right now. The sun is still streaming through the window here, but in time, the moon will rise. And in order to honor the moon, tonight we're going to do a little special breathing technique. So take uh, your right hand. So I'm actually using my right hand. So if you're facing me, you'll actually want to use this, the hand on the other side. Take a finger or your thumb and close off your right nostril and breathe in and out of your left nostril. You can keep your eyes closed. Breathing in and out of your left nostril only. Along the left side of your body runs an energy channel that resonates more with moon energy. Feminine energy, relaxation, introverted energy, cooling, cooling energy. So to drink in that energy of the moon, you breathe through the left side. Breathing in and out of your left nostril alone is also very relaxing and calming to the body. Regardless of where the planets are, it's a great way to calm things down.
Let's take three more breaths in and out of just the left nostril. Honoring the moon. Relax your hand down and breathe out of both of your nostrils at the same time. So maybe later tonight, once the moon rises, you can do the same thing, actually face the moon. Imagine you're drinking in the moonbeams from the moon as you breathe in and out through your left nostril. Do that later. It'll be fun. You can bring your hands to your heart, palms together, thumbs are to gently rest against uh, your chest bone. Now when you breathe in, stretch your arms up over your head. Keep your hands glued together. So stretch your arms up as far as you care to go. And then when you breathe out, lower your hands behind your head. Just lower them enough that your hands can stay together and your fingertips point up. Inhale. Extend your arms nice and long up towards the ceiling or the sky. And then exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. Then inhale, take your arms straight out in front of you from your heart. So point your fingertips forward. Extend and lengthen your arms forward. Exhale and bring your hands back to the center of your chest. We'll do that a couple times with our breath. Inhale, stretch the arms up. Again, keep your palms glued together. Exhale, lower your hands behind your head. Keep your neck straight. Lower your hands back. Keep your palms together, fingertips up. Inhale, stretch your arms up again, lengthen. Then exhale, lower to your heart. Now going straight out in front of you. Inhale, arms out in front of you. Nice and long, stretch away from your chest. Then exhale, lower your hands, or bring your hands back to your heart. Let's do it a couple more times, just moving with your breath. Arms go up. Then exhale, behind your head. Inhale, up. Exhale to your heart. Then inhale, arms straight out, straight out. back to your heart again. One more time. Lifting with an inhale. Lowering as you exhale. Lift again and extend. Exhale, thumbs to your sternum. Inhale, arms right out in front of you. And exhale, hands to your heart. Good. Now we're gonna roll forward onto all four. So come on to your hands and your knees. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders and spread your fingers nice and wide. Tuck your toes to your mat. Press down with your thumb and your index fingers. Tuck your toes, inhale, lift your hips up. Look at your belly. And exhale, lower your knees back down. We're going to do that a couple times. Inhale, lift your hips up into an inverted V. Drop your head so you can gaze at your belly button. And exhale, slowly lower your knees. Back down to the earth. Inhale, pike your hips up. You're like a mountain and the hips are the top of the mountain. And exhale, lower your knees down. Two more times. Inhale as you Extend and lengthen the back side of your legs. Push your heels down towards the ground. And exhale and gently lower. Last time. Inhale, press up and back. You're going to hold here. Hold here. 
If you'd like to make any small movements, this might be this might be your first downward facing dog of the day. I taught a class earlier today, so I've done a few already today. But for you, it might be your first. Yeah, so settle in. Settle your your feet or move your hips, relax your head, take any additional movements that might feel good as we continue, continue our warm-up. The bottom of your exhale, look forward to your thumbs, lift your heels up and start to walk your feet forward towards your hands. Now once you get your feet underneath you, inhale and lift up halfway. Gaze at the top of your mat or top of your space. Exhale, chin towards your chest and look at your knees. And inhale, come all the way up to stand. Raise your arms up. If you look at your thumbs, maybe lean back a little bit. And exhale, swan dive forward. Heart and chest open, arms wide. Slowly come on down. Inhale, lift up halfway. Flat back. Exhale, and roll in. Inhale, rise all the way up. It's a half sun salutation. We'll do one more. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold, roll in. Inhale, rise up. Now we're going to add on. Exhale, fold forward. Warming up our spine. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, put your palms to your mat. And step your feet back to the top of a push-up. Now there's always an option here. If you need to lower your knees, you can lower your knees. It's absolutely fine. Or your knees can be off of the ground. A little variation here. Inhale, lift your right leg, bend your right knee, and push your foot up towards the ceiling. And exhale, lower your foot down. Bend your elbows and lower your body down. Inhale, lift your chest up. Drop your shoulders, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, tuck your toes. Lift your hips up and gaze at your navel. Breathe deeply. Always being sure to be mindful of the breath here in, in any yoga practice. Yeah, regardless of what we do, keep the breath uh, moving as we practice. Bottom of your exhale, lift to your hands, walk your feet up towards your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold, look at your knees. Inhale, come all the way up, stretch up nice and tall. Hands together, maybe lean back if that feels good to you. And then exhale, fold forward. I'm going to do that again. Inhale, lift up halfway, lengthen. Exhale, put your palms down and step back to that push-up. Again, knees down or knees up. Inhale, lift your left leg this time. Bend your left knee, stretch your left foot up towards the ceiling. Exhale, lower your left foot down, lower your body down. You bend your elbows. Inhale, sweep your chest up and away from the ground. And look up. Exhale. Tuck your toes to your mat. Lift your hips up. And breathe a bit more deeply. Bottom of your exhale. Look to your hands. Walk your feet up to the top of your space. Inhale. Lift up halfway. Exhale. Fold it. Inhale. Come all the way up. We'll do it again. Exhale. Fold forward. One more time on the right, one more time on the left. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, palms down, step back, top of a push-up. Inhale, bend your right knee, lift it up. Exhale, lower your toes down, lower your chest down, maybe your belly down, all the way down. Inhale, lift your chest up, coming into a back bend. Exhale, press your hips up and take a few more breaths. And even as we warm and open our body, we become more open to the energy of the moon, more open to receive those gifts that moon energy has to bring us. Look forward to your hands, walk your feet up. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold. Inhale, come all the way up. One more time. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift and lengthen. Exhale, palms down, step back. Inhale, lift your left leg, 
lift it up, bend your knee, lift your foot up, exhale, lower your toes down, and gently lower. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, tuck your toes and lift your hips up. And take a few breaths. Bottom of your exhale, look to your hands, walk your feet up towards your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold it, inhale, come all the way up. Exhale and lower your hands to your sides. Good. So we start a little bit of warm up. I kind of want to break down a little something uh, that we're going to do today called a Bhuja Padasana, which is arm pressure balance in English. Now there's a couple of different ways to do this. And um, you could explore the option and the version that works, works best for you. But from a standing position, you want to move your feet a little bit wider apart than you normally, normally do. Yeah, a little bit wider than you normally do. So you can place your hands on your hips to start. Inhale, look up. And exhale, fold forward. Now you're going to bring your hands in between your feet. In between your feet. Now you are going to wrap your hands behind your legs. So you might be able to uh, wrap your hands and kind of grab behind your knees. Grab behind your knees. That's one place you could go. Maybe you're able to uh, wrap your hands up behind your ankles. Yeah, that's another place that you can go. But you want your hands in between and wrapped around your legs somewhere. It doesn't matter how high or how low. You just, you just do, do what you can. Then with your hands wrapped around uh, the backs of your legs somewhere, take a deep breath in and exhale, bend your knees, dropping down into a squat position. Your hands are still behind your legs, which means they're probably gonna drop down a little bit closer to the ground. And uh, that, that's okay too. So for a lot of people, this position is usually enough. Yeah, just having your hands behind your legs and squatting down. You can feel a lot of sensation. I mean, you could just, just stay here. It's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. If you want to try to go a little bit farther, the next steps would be walking your hands all the way around so your palms go flat to the outsides of your feet. So palms are on the ground just outside of your feet. You're going to put more weight into your hands and kind of sit down a little bit more, putting pressure on your arms so you can start to lighten up your feet. And walk your feet towards one another and cross one ankle over the other. I know, it's a little crazy, really tying yourself up in knots. Again, just stay in your squat and breathe, but that's where you're at. Yeah, so crossing your legs, and then with an exhale, gently coming forward, dropping your head down towards the floor. That's the full expression. Again, that might work for you. It might not, and that's okay. If you have your feet crossed, uncross your feet. We're gonna slowly untangle ourselves. And come on up. Now there will be an opportunity to explore your version of that in a little bit. And again, a little bit of a squat, a little bit of a forward fold, a little bit of things happening with the arms. It's all good, regardless of how far, how far you go tonight. I'm going to turn back towards the top of my mat. Bring my feet a little bit closer together now. And let's bend our knees. Inhale, bend your knees. Coming into chair, chair pose, so bending your knees. It's like there's a chair about three feet behind you and you're stretching your rear end back to sit down in that chair. Hands to your hips, to your heart, or you can stretch them over your head. Do what's best for your shoulders today. Chair pose is such a great grounding posture. It helps connect us to the earth. And this particular full moon is one that resonates with and honors the earth. Last month, we honored water in March, and now in April, we honor the earth. And we just also had Earth Day, too, yeah? So grounding postures help connect us with the earth. And even better, if you can do something like chair pose, something that emphasizes the feet outside and put your bare feet on the grass or on the earth, even a better way, yeah? More connection to beautiful Mother Earth that's underneath us, yeah. So in here, into chair pose. And exhale, straighten your legs and fold forward. And look at your knees. Inhale, lift up halfway and lengthen. 
Exhale, put your hands on your mat, step your feet back, and lower yourself down. High to low push up or all the way to your belly. Inhale, lift your chest up and gaze up. Exhale, tuck your toes and lift your hips up. Adding on, turn your left foot out to the left. Step your right foot forward to your hands. Keep your right knee bent. Inhale, raise your arms up and look up at your hands. Exhale, lower your hands down to either side of your right foot. Step your right foot back and lower. Inhale, lift your chest up, back bend. Exhale, tuck your toes and lift your hips up. Changing sides, turn your right foot out to the right. Step your left foot forward to your hands. Inhale, sweep your arms up and gaze up. Exhale, lower your hands down. Step your left foot back. And vinyasa, high to low push-up. Inhale, up dog, which means you gaze up. Exhale, down dog, which means you gaze down. Take a few breaths here. Bottom of your exhale, look to your hands, walk your feet up to your hands, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold, bend your knees. Inhale, lift your chest up. You decide how high you want your arms to go. We're gonna do it a couple more times. Exhale, straighten your legs and fold. Inhale, half lift and lengthen. Exhale, palms down, step back, bend your elbows and lower down towards the beautiful earth. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips up, drop your left heel, step your right foot forward. Inhale, arms stretch up and reach up. Exhale, hands down, step back and lower down. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, tuck your toes and press your hips up. Other side, this turn, turn your right foot out so you can step your left foot forward. Inhale, raise your arms up. Nice strong legs here so you can stretch your arms up. Exhale, lower your hands down, step back, vinyasa. Once you arrive in that inverted V, take a few breaths and gaze at your navel. We're going to do that one more time. Bottom of your exhale, look to your hands. Walk your feet up, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold, bend your knees, inhale. Lift your chest up, but stay grounded against the earth with your heels. Exhale, straighten and fold. Inhale, half lift and lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa, step back and lower. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale into your inverted V, drop your left foot down, right foot comes forward. Inhale, hands up, gaze up. Exhale, lower down. Step back, bend your elbows. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips up. Other side, right foot down. Left foot forward. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, vinyasa. Few breaths and down dog, hands and feet connected to the earth as we honor the full moon that also honors the earth. This month, such a beautiful evening to practice. Bottom of your exhale, lift to your hands, walk your feet up, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold, bend your knees. Inhale, sweep your arms. Up as high as you'd like. And then exhale and come to stand. Great job. Now we're going to start to move on. And part of that's going to be playing around with that arm balance position that we played with earlier, planting our hands and feet directly against the ground. Yeah. Noticing the support and everything that Mother Earth gives us on this full moon evening. So we're gonna start again in that chair pose, the one that we were just in. Bend your knees, inhale, sweep your arms up as far as is comfortable for you. And then exhale, straighten your legs and fold. Now we're gonna move our feet apart just a little bit like we did before, a little variation. So move your feet apart, bow forward, hands go in between your feet, grab wherever you can on the backs of your legs. We're gonna do something a little silly here but it's very effective and also really fun, really fun. 
So you're going to step back with your right foot with an inhale. So keep your hands connected to the back side of your leg. Inhale, step back with the right. Exhale, step back with the left. Kind of fun, right? Inhale, step back with the right. Exhale, step back with the left. Inhale, step back with the right. Exhale, step back with the left. So now that your feet are somewhat next to each other. Now inhale, uh, take your hands out in front of you. Walk your hands out in front of you, coming into the top of a push-up. Again, you can lower your knees down here if you need to. Otherwise, keep your knees up. Inhale, float your right leg up in your plank position. Exhale, bring your right foot forward. Place it in between your hands and drop your left foot behind you. So the whole left foot is down on the ground. Inhale, raise both of your arms up. Straighten your legs. Take your left hand and grab your right wrist and lean back towards the back of your space. Open the right side of your chest. Exhale, lower your hands to your hips and look forward to your right foot. Step your left foot together to meet with the right. And we're going to practice that again. So here we go. Chair pose. Bend your knees. Inhale. Sweep your arms up as far as you want. Then exhale. Straighten your legs and fold forward. Move your feet apart. Grab the backs of your ankles if you can, or at least the backs of your legs. Now we're going to start with the left foot this time. Inhale. Step the left foot back. Exhale. Step the right foot back. Inhale. Step the left foot back. Exhale, step the right foot back. Inhale, step the left foot back. Exhale, step the right foot back. Inhale, left foot. Exhale, right foot. Drop your hips down nice and low this time. Squat down. Bring your hands out in front of you. Inhale, walk your hands forward. Top of a push-up. Exhale when you get there. Inhale, lift your left leg up in the top of a push-up. Exhale, bring your left foot forward to your hands. Drop your back foot. Inhale, raise your arms up. Grab your left wrist this time. Lean back. Open the left side of your chest. Exhale, lower your hands to your waist. Look at your left foot in front of you. Step your right foot forward to meet the left. We're at the top once again. Now we're going to do that again. We're going to add a few things on, a few things on to each side. So here we go. Let's try again. Bend your knees. Inhale and sweep your arms up. Exhale, straighten your legs. Move your feet apart. Feet or hands go between the feet. Grab what you can. We're going to start with the right side. Inhale, step back with the right. Exhale, step back with the left. Inhale, step back with the right. Exhale, step back with the left. One more time. Inhale, step back with the right. Exhale, step back with the left. Feet are somewhat even with one another. Exhale, drop your hips down. Down, 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 down. Coming into that squat. Hands out in front of you. Inhale, walk your hands forward. Keep your feet at the back of your mat. Walk your hands forward. Top of a push-up. Exhale once you get there. Inhale, right leg. Lift it up. Exhale, right foot forward to your hands. Drop your left heel. Inhale, raise your arms up. Keep your legs relatively straight. Grab your right hand and lean back. We're going to add on from here. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, just like we did before. And we're going to take a big twist. Take your left elbow, bend your right knee, and bring your left knee all the way to the outside of your right knee. A little easier if you let your back heel float up so you can really twist around. And you can look down at your right foot or look over your right shoulder. Prayer twist. Take one more breath. And then exhale, lower your hands down to the floor in front of you. And inhale as you walk your hands hand over hand. You're going to keep rotating your hands, walking them towards your left foot at the same time. Turning your feet in the same direction. So keep walking around, walking around, walking around, walking around. Now eventually, your left toes are going to face the back of your space. And your right toes are facing in the same direction. Now we're going to keep walking a little bit more, lower. So you bend both of your knees. Yeah, right knee is going to come down. 
Left leg's gonna be up a little higher. Just kind of rotating yourself, kind of like a like a tornado or a corkscrew, yeah, kind of moving yourself in a rotating direction. And bring your hands to your heart and hook your right elbow to the outside of your left knee, looking over the opposite shoulder this time. Half Lord of the Fishes. And then next time you inhale, it's kind of a big move here. Make sure your left foot is flat to the earth in front of you. Left foot is flat. Take your left hand, you're going to bring your left hand in front of your left foot. Then you're going to uncurl the right side of your body. Lift your right leg up and lift your right arm up. Half moon. Half moon. Balancing. Balancing. Lifting away from the earth. Chest and heart nice and open. Take one more breath. Exhale, lower your right foot next to your left foot. Bend your knees. Inhale and sweep your arms up. We're just changing sides. We're going to do that again. Exhale, straighten your legs and fold. Move your feet a little apart so you can grab the backs of your legs somewhere. And we're going to start with the left side. Inhale, step the left foot back. Exhale, step the right foot back. Inhale, step the left foot back. Exhale, step the right foot back. Inhale, step the left foot back. Exhale, step the right foot back. Once you towards the back of your mat, exhale, lower your hips down, coming down into that squat. Bring your hands in front of you. Inhale as you walk your hands forward. Come forward into the top of a push-up. Exhale once you get there. Inhale, float your left leg up just a little bit. Exhale, bring your left foot forward to your hands. Drop your right heel down. Inhale, raise your arms up, straighten your legs. Grab your left wrist this time and lean back. Open the left side, left side of your body. And here's where we add it on. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. And now we're going to wrap around. Right elbow to your left knee. Bend your left knee. Wrap and twist all the way around. Let your right heel come up and look over your left shoulder. Prayer twist. Grasp with your foot. Draw your belly in and twist and take a deep breath. Exhale as you lower your hands down. This is where we're going to do a little yogi walk around. Walk your hands, hand over hand, hand over hand. Let your feet rotate, but don't step your feet anywhere. Just keep walking your hands all the way around, all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. And you'll notice that your left leg kind of folds in behind your right leg. Sit all the way down. Keep twisting to your right. Hands to your heart, hook your left elbow to the outside of your right knee and look over your right shoulder. A lot of twisting. You know what twisting does? Moves energy downwards towards Mother Earth, <laughs> towards the Earth. Look over your shoulder. All right, here comes our, our big move. So you want your right foot flat against the ground. Right hand, reach it in front of your right toes. Right hand in front of your right toes. Lean forward. Now unwrap the left side of your body. Stretch and reach up and balance. Left leg up. Left arm up. Half moon. It's a full moon. You know this pose is called half moon. Yeah, it's a full moon. Full moon tonight. Take one more breath. And exhale, lower your feet next to each other. Starting again, because we're going to add on a few more things, yeah? Here we go. Bend your knees. Inhale and sweep your arms up. Stretch up. Exhale, straighten your legs and fold. Bring your hands between your feet. Wrap your hands behind your legs somewhere, your ankles. And we'll start with the right side. Inhale, step the right foot back. Exhale, step the left foot back. Inhale, right foot. Exhale, left foot. Inhale, right foot. Exhale, left foot. Inhale, right foot. Exhale, left foot. Back and lower down. Squat. Get nice and low. Hands out in front of you. Inhale, walk your hands forward. Coming into the top of a push-up. Exhale, once you get there. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bring your right foot to your hands. Drop your back heel down. Inhale, raise your arms up. Connect your left hand with your right wrist. Lean back, lean back, lean back, lean back. And exhale, we twist. Hands to your heart. 
Wrap all the way around, left elbow all the way around to your right knee. Look over your right shoulder, big deep twist. Inhale as you float your hands down. Walk your hands all the way around. Walk your hands, rotate your feet, walk them all the way around. Then sit down, twisting in the other direction, right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Half Lord of the Fishes. Here's our, our big move. So plant your left foot, take your left hand, place it in front of your left toes, and open up the right side of your body. Here's a half moon balance. Half moon balance. Great job. Now we're going to add on again. I know we're not done yet. It just keeps going. It just keeps going. Yeah. Exhale, lower your right toes. Lower your right knee. Right hand to your hip. Inhale and lift your left arm up. Now if you want, you can take your right hand and reach back for your right heel and stretch and reach all the way back. Half camel. Reach back. And exhale, come on up, bring your hands to your heart. We're gonna twist again, right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Kneeling, twisted lunge. And with an inhale, put both of your hands down towards the top of your mat. Press down with your left big toe. Lift your right leg up as high as you can. Curl your nose in towards your knee. Standing splits. Another standing balancing. Posture, ground down against the earth as you're upside down. Use it as support here. Then exhale, lower your right foot next to the left. And we start again. Bend your knees, inhale, raise your arms up, chair. Exhale, straighten your legs and fold. Widen your feet so you can wrap your hands around the backs of your legs. Now we start with the left foot. Inhale, step the left foot back. Exhale, step the right foot back. Inhale, step the left foot back. Exhale, step the right foot back. Inhale, step the left foot back. Exhale, step the right foot back. And squat down. And all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Inhale, walk your hands out in front of you. Top of push-up. Exhale once you get there. Inhale, lift your left leg up just a little bit. Exhale, step your left foot to your hands. Drop your right heel. Inhale, rise up. Grab your left wrist and lean back. There's that sky archer again. Exhale, hands to your heart and twist. Lower your hands, twist all the way around. Let your right heel lift, twist and look over your shoulder. Inhale as you lower your hands down and start to walk your hands around. Let your feet twist against the ground, twist them all the way around. Keep twisting, keep twisting and turning and twisting and turning and twisting and lower your hips down, hands to your heart. Left elbow, the outside of your right knee, and look over your shoulder. Inhale, we'll stand and balance. Right foot is the one that's in front of you. So plant your right foot down, right fingertips down. Lift the left side of your body up and balance and stretch and honor the moon. Exhale, lower your left toes. Lower your left knee. Left hand to your hip. Inhale, sweep your right arm up. Left hand can stay on your hip, or you can stretch and reach back. Reach back, reach back, reach back, reach back. Exhale, hands to your heart and take a twist. Left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Look over your shoulder. And inhale, float up, fingertips down to the earth. Weight in your right foot again. Lift your left leg up, curl in, nose. Toward your knee, lift up. Exhale, lower your feet so that they are next to each other. Let's do it again, bend your knees. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, straighten your legs and fold. Move your feet apart, wrap your hands behind your legs. And we'll step back with the right foot first. Inhale, right, exhale, left. Inhale, right, exhale, left. Inhale, right. Exhale left and lower your hips down. Squat down, down towards the earth. Inhale, walk your hands forward. Coming into the top of push-up, exhale once you get there. Inhale, raise your right leg up. Exhale, right foot forward. Drop your left heel, inhale, raise your arms up. Stretch and reach back, open, open, open. Exhale, hands to your heart and close. Yeah, we close by twisting, hands to your heart. And close the upper body, twist 
Draw your belly in, rain yourself out. Inhale, lower your hands, start to walk your hands all the way around. Keep twisting, twisting, twisting. Lower your hips down and keep twisting all the way to the left. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale, stretch your left hand in front of your left toes and raise the right side of your body up. Half moon. Exhale, lower your right toes. Lower your right knee. Inhale, stretch your left arm up as your right hand stretches and reaches back for your right heel. Extend and lengthen. Exhale, hands to your heart. And we twist again, right elbow to your left knee. Inhale, untwist. All ten fingers down to the ground. Rock the weight forward. Lift your right leg up, nose to your knee. Standing split. Exhale, lower your feet. Next two, one another. Let's do it again. Bend your knees. Inhale, sweep your arms. Up, stretch up. Exhale, straighten and fold. Wrap your hands behind the backs of your legs. Starting with the left side. Inhale, step the left foot back. Exhale, right foot back. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. And lower your hips down. Inhale, walk your hands forward. Walk your hands forward. Top of a push-up. Exhale once you get there. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, bring your left foot to your hands. Drop your right heel. Inhale, rise up. Open. Open and lengthen. Exhale, twist and close. Lower your hands to your heart. And wrap your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Inhale, put your hands down. Start to walk your hands around. Twisting and turning and twisting and turning. Lower your hips, twist and turn some more. Left elbow, the outside of your right knee. And look over your shoulder. Inhale, right fingertips, place them in front of your right toes. Lift the left side of your body up. Half moon balance. Exhale, lower your toes. Lower your knee. Left hand to your hip. Inhale, raise your right arm up or stretch and reach all the way back. For your left foot, stretch and reach back inward, opening and lengthening. Exhale, hands to your heart and twist. Inhale, fingertips down to the earth, balance on your right foot, lift your left leg up, curl your nose in towards your knee, standing splits. Exhale, lower your feet next to one another. Now bend your knees enough that you can plant your hands. Step your feet back on your mat, coming into that inverted V. Inhale, drop your knees down. Exhale, we'll take a child's pose. Bring your feet close to one another. Sink your hips back. And drop your head down. Allow yourself to be cradled and supported by the earth. As soon as you even come downwards yeah, and really connect to the ground, you, know, you, you can feel that grounding effect. You almost release, you naturally release down towards the earth. The body will start to relax and cool down. And the breath will follow. Allow yourself to release down into the earth. Slowly walk your hands in towards your knees. Keep your palms flat so you can press and use the earth beneath you to lift yourself up. And we're going to sit down. Sit down. So you can roll over your ankles or move your hips to one side if you need to. Extend both of your legs out in front of you. Inhale and stretch your arms up. Sit up nice and tall. And exhale, reach forward and down. Place your hands somewhere 
on your legs. It's not important if you grab uh, your feet. What's important is that you're relaxing forward. And if you feel any uncomfortable sensations, specifically behind the backs of your knees, that's just your body telling you you need to bend your knees in a forward fold. So allow that bend um, to happen if, if it needs to. Yeah, relaxing forward. Get legs straight or legs bent. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Forward folding and the natural introspection that comes along with it is another great way to honor moon energy. So releasing forward. Allow yourself to turn inward. And let your body be soft. And you breathe in, lift your chest up. You're going to bring your hands behind you. And your fingertips are going to point away from you, so towards the back of your space. So thumb and all your fingers pointing towards the back. And point your toes. Bring your shoulder blades together behind you and look up. Look up at the ceiling or towards the sky. A gentle variation of Parvottanasana, the reverse plank. Remember to open the chest and heart before we go back to honoring the moon and folding forward again. One more full round of breath. Press yourself up. Bring the soles of your feet together. Knees are going to go out. So legs, you take on the shape of a butterfly as we sometimes say. Take your hands and bring them to your feet like you're opening a book. Inhale and exhale, fold forward. Now you can choose to keep your back flat, bring your chest down towards your feet, or you can drop your chin down towards your chest and round down. Bring your spine more rounded. Either way is fine, but we did a lot of leg stuff today to keep us connected and grounded down towards the earth. Just take a few moments and stretch that part of the body. Let everything be nice and soft. The weight of your upper body is what opens the lower body. Created all this warmth and all this heat. Let the weight of your body just naturally start to extend, extend and lengthen. Start to lift your chest away from the earth. Bring your hands to the outsides of your knees and close your knees like you're closing a book. And we're going to lie 
lie down on our backs. So go ahead and roll down. Give your knees a hug. Might feel good to rock back and forth or make some circles to massage your low back or your hips or glutes here. Bring both hands to your right leg. Put your left foot down on the floor, or you can extend your left leg out uh, long. Either way is fine. Hug your right knee in towards your right armpit. Take your breath here and then start to gently lift your left foot up towards the ceiling. Now, as you do that, you might want to connect your hands behind your right hamstring. Or you can take the peace sign fingers of your right hand and connect them to your right big toe. Lengthen the back side of your right leg. Entire body is nice and relaxed. Feel a nice stretch in the back side of that leg, but very little effort. Very little effort. In, and when you exhale, take your right leg out to the right. And you can, of course, bend your knee. It's a little less intense if you have your knee bent. Otherwise, keeping your leg long, right leg out to the right. And look over your left shoulder. Try to keep your left hip grounded, left shoulder grounded as best you can. But if it's a little off the mat or off the floor, that's okay. Try to relax down towards the earth. It's said that when parts of your body resist the earth, when you're laying down or you notice that parts of your body are raised or away from the ground, it's an indication that there's some tension or stress in that part of your body. Our natural inclination is to relax towards the earth and let our body be cradled by the earth. If we find that there's resistance there, there's something, something going on, something going on. All right, inhale and bring your right leg back to the center. And we're gonna switch hands. So wherever your right hand is, Take your left hand to your right leg somewhere. And again, you can bend your knee if you want, but use your left hand to guide your right leg all the way across your body to the left. And now you're gonna twist open to the right. Pressing your left shoulder down as best you can. Releasing everything back. To the center, hug your knees in and we'll switch sides, right foot or right leg down to the ground, left knee towards your left armpit, give it a squeeze and then start to extend your left foot up and away, connect your hands, support your legs somewhere behind it or big toes, grab your big toes. Lengthen. Let your body be heavy and soft. Lengthen.
more breath. And then let's take left leg out to the left. You can bend your knee if you need to. I don't even need to bend my knee or I'm going to knock over this lovely backdrop. So I'm going to bend my knee and look over my right shoulder. Each breath, relax more fully, downward, towards the earth. Change side, so left leg comes back to the center. Use your right hand to guide your left leg all the way over to the right. And feel your upper body open to the left. Go back, back to the center. Hug everything into the in towards your body one more time. And then we'll release fully into the earth for final relaxation. Lying down comfortably. And all the necessary components, you know, compounds, elements, chemicals, all that stuff that make us who we are, make us human, in some way come from the earth. It's all connected. It all goes back to the earth. All the different things we're made of come from what's beneath us. Allow yourself to, to melt back into the earth and be cradled and held by the earth for just a few moments. Close your eyes. Relax. again and make it a little longer. Then 
bend your knees and to honor the energy of the moon, roll on to your left side. Roll into the left. Press yourself up gently and slowly. And we'll draw our hands to our hearts one last time to seal the practice this evening. Thank you so much for practicing with me uh, tonight. I hope to see you again uh, very soon. Namaste, namaste. Just uh, as a reminder, for the next two weeks, I believe, we will be live at the Battery. So if you'd like to reserve a spot, make sure that you click on the events part of this page and, and follow the links to the wellness series and, and reserve a couple of spots. We'd love to see you in person if, if you're ready for that. Yeah, we'd love to see you um, out there in person. And I hope that the, the Braves are playing well. They do well tonight. Go Braves. And I uh, hope to see you all um, very soon. Oh, wow. Hi, Wendy and Deanna, thank you so much uh, for the comments. It takes me a while to get back up to my device to see what you guys have said, but, but thank you. Thanks so much. It's great to see um, all of you as usual. So I hope you have a great week and I'll see you again soon. Bye.